What's up, everybody? I'm Kansu, and this is the Crystal Corner. Today, we're going to talk about something that I've been working with for a while now, but I figured, you know, I'd go ahead and uh, share with you a couple of my tips and tricks of uh, how to deify energy and how to, you know, get the most out of your craft work, your witch work, you know what I'm saying? So before I get started, for all of you that are new, uh, thank you for stopping by my channel. I appreciate you. Please make sure that you hit that like button and the subscribe little bell down there so you get notified every time I post a video because I'm kind of sporadic. Um, I recently took the leap to become fully uh, self-employed, you know what I'm saying? So with that, I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes as far as coming up with new products for you guys, doing ritual work, and definitely doing a lot, a lot, a lot of readings. If you guys want a reading, I will um, definitely link below so that you can get the link. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Crystal Corner. And then for everybody that's already been here, shouts out to y'all. I appreciate uh, all, every one of y'all family. You know, I wouldn't be able to do this without y'all. So uh, make sure that you guys hit that like button because it helps the video get out there. It helps the algorithm, you know, YouTube and how they got that whole technological thing out here these days. Try to suppress the videos with the real knowledge. But if you like my info and my content, you know, make sure that you share and press that like button so it gets out there. So um, I was recently rewatching a video by my guy, Brother Panic, and he was talking about, you know, how to use your imagination and how. Um, your thought processes create different entities. So basically, for every energy that you could possibly want to create, you know what I'm saying, as far as like love, wealth, prosperity, and all that other stuff that we all try to do, it's a thought, pro it's a thought process. The same way that uh, negative things are created, you know, like uh, bad luck, um, run-ins with losing money, losing jobs, and just, you know, like negative thought processes, negative emotions. They're all a thought form, right? But you create that with your, uh, with your mind, because, you know, the mind is all the universe is mental. Shouts out to the Cabal. And if you guys haven't read that book, you definitely need to invest in a copy. And I will leave the link below so that you can find that book as well. Um, I do believe on my last video with Conjure Queen, I actually listed that on there. So if you guys haven't watched that video, make sure that you go back and watch that one because there's a list of books on that. Okay. But um, the first thing that I would like to say is when creating entities and creating energies, you have to be very conscious and aware of what you are saying with your mouth, what you're speaking. Okay. Um, and all of these old esoteric works, and we'll even quote the Bible on this one, uh, I believe it was when Moses went up on the hill to go talk to God or whatever and get the tablets. He asked the burning bush who he was, and the bush said, I am that I am. Okay? What does I am that I am actually mean? It means that your real name, because he asked Moses what his name was, right? Right? He said, I am that I am. That's the name, right? Okay. So what does that mean? It means that I am is your real name, okay? And each and everything that you say after I am becomes what you are. You become that which you associate with you being the am, okay? So let's apply this to a thought process or a phrase that most people say. Uh, you know, it's wintertime where I'm at. If you on the northern, uh, northern hemisphere of the planet, it's uh, wintertime right now and close to summer on the Southern Hemisphere, okay? Well, in the wintertime and sometimes in the summertime, people say, oh, I'm sick. Oh, I don't feel good. I'm sick. Right, okay. So because you said I am and then applied a negative statement after it saying sick, what did you just become? You just became sick. You just created the entity of sickness around you because you said that's what you are. So that energy will walk with you. Remember, this video is me talking about how you deify energy without even knowing it. I want to be able to show you guys how you do it already to make it easier for you to do it consciously. OK, here's another one for people that say, uh, you know, the funds ain't in their bank account today. I'm rich. I got all the money I need in the world. It's just not in the bank account today. That's what I say. Y'all would say. And it's not to point any fingers, it's just a common phrase. I'm broke. Okay, cool. So what did you just say? 
You just created the entity of broke around you and you will be just that because that's what you said you were. Okay. So when creating these entities, you have to be very mindful of what you say and what you think. Okay. If you think these thoughts, they will manifest into an entity. People that smoke, uh, don't necessarily smoke because they want to, because a lot of them will tell you, oh, I'm trying to quit. I want to quit. Okay. But you've given the entity of smoking power by continuing to smoke. Everything that you create only survives based off of the attention you give it. Okay. So if you're constantly looking at cigarettes and constantly thinking about smoking and collecting lighters and all other kind of stuff is going to make you want to smoke. In order to eliminate that, you have to stop paying attention to it. And that's where it gets a little bit difficult because that uh, that entity does not want to die, right? So it's going to hop on your back. Hey, man, I really think we should smoke right now. You know, it's about that time where we would be smoking. You know, if you don't smoke, I don't live. It's the same, you know what I'm saying? That's that's how it works. That's why it's hard to quit because that entity be in the back of people's heads. Okay. So on a constructive level, how do we create entities to serve our own purposes? For me personally, I have invoked the energy of prosperity. Okay. And this is this is key. So pay attention to this. Um if you guys don't know how to do sigils and you want me to uh, do a video on how to make sigils, comment below and I will definitely do that and upload it for you as soon as possible. But the first thing that I did was I wrote out a sentence and I made a sigil out of it. OK, that way I have a mental note of what that energy signature looks like. OK, and then I named my entity for prosperity a common phrase that people use in day-to-day conversation, okay? I prefer, this is me, this is my trick, this is my tip. When I create energies for me, whether it be an energy to find work, an energy to find customers, an energy to find comfort or love or an energy to help heal people or whatever that I need to help me on my journey so that I can continue to help you guys, I will name them after entities that already exist. I'll use slang terms. I will use superhero names to name one that I already have. That way, when I see the symbol, it reinforces my thought process in my brain um, where I can communicate with it, but the rest of the world doesn't know that that's what I'm doing. Here's the example. Um, Back to that sigil that I made. So I created the sigil, okay? And then I named the entity Bucko. Bucko is my prosperity entity, and there's another one called Buddy. Anytime I hear somebody say Bucko, that's money coming, okay? Uh, Buddy, that's prosperity coming. If I read it, if I hear it, if I speak it, if somebody else speaks it, whether they know that when they say Bucko, that's bringing me money or not, that's what's happening. And the reason I did that is because you want to be kind of inconspicuous in your craft work. You want to be able to speak this entity up without other people noticing that's what you're doing, okay? So if I say, oh, come on, bucko, we got to get this going. I could be talking to you, telling you that, hey, we got some work that we need to do and we need to push it forward. But I'm also talking to that entity that I created called bucko, that's going to be like, hey, bro, we need to bring some money in. Subconsciously, you're not thinking of it. Consciously, the rest of the world of you around you isn't thinking of it either. OK, but, you know, subconsciously what you're doing. OK, so like I said, you create the sigil. So you have the um, the energy marker for that person. You know what their calling card looks like, because that's all the sigil is. It's an astral phone number. You want to dial somebody up. You got to know how to contact them. You want to hit me up. You got to hit me up on Instagram or email me with the link below. It's the same process when it comes to dealing with spirits and creating energies as well. But you also want to name it. Like I said, I don't care if you name the energy Honda. So every time you see a Honda logo, that could bring you, your husband, shorty. If that's what you're trying to do, because it's a big H logo, right? So make Honda the energy that's going to bring you your husband. It's going to drive it to you. Okay. 
And then the second key to this entire thing to making it work is to deal with these energies kind of like you did when you were a kid. They're now your imaginary friend. They go absolutely everywhere that you go. Whatever you do, they do. If um try to get some gas, so you know, excuse me, I gotta park. Um if you need to contact that energy, you know what I'm saying? Do it inconspicuously. Use the things around you so that you can still work with the energy, but the rest of the world doesn't know that's what you're doing. Okay? Um, use your imagination. It's like talking to your imaginary friend. When I talk to my spirits, okay, and I talk to my ancestors, and I talk to my deities and my statues and stuff, I talk to them like I did when I was a kid playing with my Spider Man and my Power Rangers. I'll be sitting in the tub sometimes playing with them, you know, making all the little noises and hitting each other and stuff like that, because that's how it works. The ones with the childlike mind are the ones that get their magic to work. You have to make it real for you. It don't matter if other people don't believe you. It don't matter if you think that you, if other people look at you like you're crazy either, because nine times out of 12, everybody going to look at you like you're crazy anyway. So you might as well go ahead and do it. Right. Right. So when I'm talking to my spirits and I need something done, there's no mass ritual that I need to do. Although there are plenty that I could do. There's not one single one that I absolutely need to do. All I got to do is look over to the right or to the left. Hey, man, I need you to get this going. Hey, pop a leg by for real. Like some shit going on right now. I need you to open the gateway for me. Open that goddamn portal so the breath can come in. I'm trying to get to where I'm going. And the gate locked. I need to get through. And I know you over here with the keys. Motherfucker, open that shit up so I can get to where I'm going. I ain't trying to be out here in the goddamn cold. Please help a brother. Ouch. You know what I'm saying? Just do what you got to do. Whatever you need. Oh. All right, cool. You say get 16 pennies on a Monday night at midnight? On a Tuesday? All right, on a Tuesday night at midnight. And then drop them, drop them pink. All right, cool. And you said you want some rum? And... and what else you said? And a cigar. All right, bet. Let me get you. You see how I'm talking to myself, but I'm not talking to myself? That's how that shit works, man. We got to talk to them like they there. Because they are there. Make it real. Once again, the mind is all. The universe is mental. And if you can see it, it's real. It don't matter if somebody else can see it. Only thing that matters is if you can see it. It don't matter if the shit works for you. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter if it doesn't work for somebody else. It only matters if it works for you. So whatever you got to do to make that stuff work, do it. But I'm tr- what I'm basically here to do is give you a couple tricks. Like I said, man, if I wanted a, to make a, a manifestation super superhero right and my car might be a mazda name the superhero mazda name that energy mazda so every time you get in your car you got the superhero with you you see the logo you see what i'm saying every time you see a mazda on the road oh man that nigga following me around he's looking out you see how that goes if you guys got any questions or any comments please leave them below I will definitely answer them for you, but this is just a real quick, simple video on how to tap into some energies and deify that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you guys want to get in contact with me for any consultations or have any questions, please email me. The link will be below. You can find me once again on Crystal Corner. That's K-R-Y-S-T-A-L-K-O-R-N-E-R on Instagram. Um, And if you guys need any readings or spell work, anything done like that as well, you need help setting up an altar or uh, need help calling in ancestors or any energies to help you out. That's what I'm here for. That's the type of uh, spell work that I offer. Lifelong work I've been doing here. Um, That's really all I got to say to y'all today, man. Let me get it y'all at a later date. Peace.